Hi everybody, Elisa here with Rosie and another Vera Bradley bag of the day um, and peaches. <laughs> uh, of course, as usual, apologies in advance for the dog noises, primarily the dog chewing noises. Um, they have their Nyla bones. I thought, I, I, I haven't, I typically try to do every season, change of season, I try to do a top 10 list of my um, seasonal patterns. So top 10 spring patterns, top 10 uh, summer, uh, fall, winter. Um, I missed the summer, the top 10 Vera Bradley summer patterns this year because uh, the change over to summer fell on Father's Day and I was with my dad and I, I didn't have access to all my stuff and um, so I, I just let that one slide. <laughs> Sometimes something's got to give. Um, but I figured, I really have no business making videos right now with my workload, but um, I figured I would try to get back in that routine and do the uh, top 10 fall Vera Bradley patterns for fall. Happy fall, everybody. Um, <laughs> And so these are in an order. There, it's. I always say it's my top ten, but this time it's. I think is really twelve. Um, but I'll I'll put the list in the video description along with um, as many dates for the patterns uh, as I can come up with. Um, I don't know the Dillard's ones. There's one or two Dillard ones. Dillard's ones in here, uh, or at least one. I think uh, more than one. And. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I won't know the years for those. Um, but anyway, now again, I should say, because it was very hard to whittle it down to 12. For a while there, it was going with 16. And there's one that I want to mention that I don't even have because I haven't had time to get to the factory outlet store. Um, but there's any, you know, number of, there are patterns that I would have loved to have had in this list, but I just felt like I, I I'd be approaching 20 patterns and so it was just getting kind of unwieldy and so I, I really cut back to patterns that I'm going to carry. I know I'm going to carry. I mean even though there are some great patterns for fall like for example Happy Snails which is not, I have um, a bag in it and um, I think it's an interesting pattern. It's not one of my favorite patterns, but I do think it's good for fall. But I'm not including it here because I really, to, in order to, to sort of get it down to a more manageable length, um, I, I just decided to stick to patterns I know I'm going to enjoy carrying. <laughs> so, for example, also like Mocha Rouge, I would have put in there, but I, I cut it out. I do like Mocha Rouge very much, and I think it's a good fall pattern, but I think it's also good for summer. Um, so things like that sort of got cut as I was trimming it down. I I'm sorry, Peaches, there's no space there. Okay. Uh, okay, so b before I forget about it, the pattern that I don't have that would be in here and it would be up towards the top of the list um, is Pressed Flowers, which is a current new uh, factory outlet store pattern. I think it's great. I think it's in their ultralight fabrication, which is sort of like their equivalent of, well, I don't want to say performance twill or like uh, featherweight, but you know, it's like that. It's not cotton. It's one of the more nylon-y kind of fabrics and it's got the macro square quilting or macro diamond quilting. I'm not sure whether they're doing diamonds or squares, but it's that larger quilting pattern. So it's sort of puffier. It's got like a puffy kind of um, look to it. And I think that pattern is just beautiful. And it's got a beautiful kind of mocha background um, with some like light coral flowers and some flowers in like a white or a cream color that are dropping out um, on the background color. And I think that's perfect for fall. And I, as soon as I can get my ass to the factory outlet store, <laughs> I am going to try to see if there's something I can at least get something in there. I mean, I'm not crazy about a lot of the styles um, at the factory outlet store, so it's a kind of a challenge, but maybe there's some little thing, a wallet or something I can find. Um, and I do, I'm going to have a credit there because I'm making a return and I think it's past the, what is it now, 60 days or something. I, you can get your cash back. It used to be 60, maybe it's 30 now. I don't know. Um, I'm sure I'm past the deadline. I'm just going to get store credit. 
So to start uh, in reverse order, I'm starting, so this might be 12. I'm not sure if I counted right, so I'm not going to, let's see real quick. One, two, three, six, seven, yes, 12. I can count. <laughs> I could do math. As Plankton says, I went to college. <laughs> uh, I'm starting out with my uh, big cats custom. I, I realize this is also sort of going to be almost like uh, part two of my Vera Tote uh, videos. I did get a recent request to do collection videos. I, I, I haven't been spending a lot of time on YouTube. I, I, like to, I usually like to watch my fellow Vera YouTubers, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry gals, I, I haven't been able to watch as much lately because of my workload, but I do get the feeling that people are doing collection videos, and somebody asked me would I do that, so I have a feeling that's where that's stemming from, that they see people doing them and wanted to know if I would do them too, and I, I have, I have the, the, my, way back in the day, like it was probably over, over a year ago now, I did my what will be my part one of my Virato collection. So I was starting to sort of do collection videos way back, but um, just, you know, there's always, there's, there's so little time and so much to do, <laughs> to quote Louis Armstrong. <laughs> um, that's such a good song. If people don't know that song, you should Google it. That is a good jazz song. Um, so I will try to fit in collection videos every now and then, um, and including an official part two to the Virato one. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm sorry, I'm a little slow. Anyway, 12, Big Cats, Custom Tote, uh, Custom Virato, the big one. Um, because of the orange tones for the cats, to me that sort of, and, and the jewel tone background color very fall. I feel like rich jewel tones, great for fall. And of course, orange, everyone, leaves are changing, you know, pumpkins, uh, gourds. <laughs> My mother always used to buy gourds to put on the dining room table around this time of year. Um, you know, and orange for Halloween and cats for Halloween. So, you know, it, it, it all works. So that's my 12. I, I have videos on that. I always say I'll try to put links, and then I, I never remember half the time. Put some links. <laughs> Eleven is, I never remember the official name of this. Oh, maybe I still have a tag on here. I have a tendency to forget to take my tags off. And then I'm just walking around with my bag, and a tag will be flying out. <laughs> um, love all, all love. I call it the rainbow tote. Uh, I, the reason I'm pulling this out, feel like I'm getting, going to be getting more use out of it for fall is because it's denim. So it has a heavier feel, a heavier look, less, it's not light for like, it doesn't have a springy kind of summery feel. It has more of a fall, uh, winter collegiate kind of feel for me. Um, I do have a video on this. Um, great, great tote. And I'm not sure about this online outlet sale that's going on now, but it was in the last online outlet sale. Super good price. Um, it's like tempting to almost get a second one just because the price was so good. <laughs> it's like, how can I not buy this? <sighs> there, I just proved that I am indeed a crazy Vera lady right there. <laughs> With that logic. And the, you know, beautiful lining. I've shown the lining. This fabric, this lining fabric should be in the custom section. Why is it not in the custom section, Vera Bradley? Nobody is listening to me. That is, is evidently clear. <laughs> okay, that was 11. Uh, okay, it's going to get all dog hair on it from the carpet. Uh, 10. So this would be now the official start of the top 10, counting down. This is Falling Flowers. I feel like you always have to include this pattern. I, I always have to include this pattern. Great uh, olive green background, petite kind of background color. The flowers also, they look like falling leaves. I always want to call this falling leaves, but it's falling flowers. Uh, great channel stitching for the quilt pattern there. This is a small Vera tote. It's a deluxe small Vera tote. Great, but uh, 
I mean, I'm, I'm sort of warming to the uh, small Vera tote, and I'll, I'm also going to try to do a, um, after I finish this one, I'm going to try to do a real quick Spooky Cats one. Um, and I'm a little behind. Everyone's already got their Spooky Cats on. <laughs> but um, that sort of making me come around a little bit more to the small Vera tote. I do have a handful of them, but I'm not a big fan. But this small Vera tote, I love. Um, love everything about it. Love the east-west pockets. Love this sort of um, piping, sort of wider kind of piping that's more like fabric. Unfortunately, it's those harsh metal zippers here for the east-west pockets, but what are you going to do? And this nice sort of ribbon detail bordering the um, zipper there. Just has a high-end kind of luxe feel to it. Almost because this, this, whatever this edging is this fabric it, it's it's got a sheen to it so it just almost makes the whole thing feel like sateen or something it's not it's the regular cotton but and it's got these sort of slip slip pockets front i mean that's the back and the front and the back both have them is the front technically with the label so anyway falling flowers 10 number 10 I'm sure at some point I'm going to get my numbering confused. Okay, nine. Uh, I wish this, they had made this in a tote because I... Yes, I've been carrying backpacks to my dad's um, for traveling. It's been handy. But I'm not a huge backpack person. Um, although I do have a handful. I have enough to do a collection video. <laughs> uh Kerala Elephants, Dillard's exclusive. Very limited choice and styles. I mean, no shoulder bags whatsoever. Large duffel, medium duffel. I think there was, there was even a, I think there were the, the full complement of duffels and lunch bunches uh, and backpacks, but no shoulder bags. I mean, what, what the hell is that about? <laughs> Not even a small Vera tote, you know, very disappointing. Um, so I, when this went on sale, really deeply discounted recently, um, I decided to take a chance again, see if I get good elephants because I had been ordering stuff and always returning it because all I got everywhere were elephant butts. Um, so I feel like this one's a keeper. This one was good. And again, rich jewel tones seems to, you know, say fall to me. Uh, so a little bit heavier pattern, you know look to the pattern. So um, good for fall. Pretty colors. Really pretty colors there. Again, I was always talking about it, like a, a analogous color scheme with a, a sort of a contrast color from the other side of the color wheel. So here you've got your, you know, you've got blue, you've got the sort of teals and blues going into the greens. That's the analogous part of the pat of the color scheme. Colors that are very similar, usually contiguous on the color wheel, meaning they're next to each other in an arc on the color wheel, and these are. And then you've got your magenta and your orange. Those are from the other side of the color wheel, and they give you that little bit of contrast, good contrast. That's why this pattern is working so nicely. Love the whole batik kind of look to it. Uh, and the tropical foliage. I mean, anything with tropical foliage, I'm all over. It's interesting that, you know, that's kind of tropical foliage, but yet doesn't scream summer. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> that was nine, okay. <laughs> okay, so for eight, and I did this uh, in a, a couple, with a couple of other patterns, sort of cheating a little bit, because I can't help myself. Um, so I'm grouping together three for number eight. So 8A, B, and C. <laughs> uh, it's like a school outline for a paper. Uh, I call these the quilts, the quilts patterns. Uh, especially this one I think is good for fall um, persistence patchwork. And I do have a video on this where I talk about the symbolism here and the uh, occasion for releasing this pattern. Um, I think it was the 100th, was it the 100th anniversary of giving the women, the white women, I, I feel always important to specify that, the right to vote, because uh, it wasn't all women. 
Um, and I do feel strongly that Vera Bradley should do a companion tote marking the occasion when all women were given the right to vote. Um, anyway, good fall pattern, makes use of a little bit of French paisley in there, and the ditzy, um, and uh, stripe from Animal Kingdom. Um, just really great. And the dots, I think the dots may be the lining to uh, daisy dot paisley, but I'm not sure. Looks kind of familiar. Uh, but good kind of denim-y heavier look for fall. And so uh, that would be A, this would be 8B, <laughs> which would be Cloud Vine. I think this was called Cloud Vine Patchwork. I can't remember now, but this was the Safan Quilt Con uh, collaboration. Uh, and they didn't seem to do that this year, which was unfortunate. Maybe there was no real quilt, maybe because of COVID, or it was last year they didn't do it. I think this was 2019, I'm not sure. So I don't think they did it 2020 or this year. I may have my years a little messed up, but anyway, they, they, I'm, not, I'm not sure if they're ever gonna do that again. There only were two, and this is the second one. Again, same kind of feeling as the, as the persistence patchwork, you know, with the denim kind of the deeper blue. Seems good for fall and also quilting, and I live in an area that's very close to Amish communities, so just feels like part of fall, quilting and pumpkins and, you know, tourists coming to Lancaster to, you know, gawk at Amish people and buy pretzels and quilts. <laughs> uh, okay. And C, 8C, would be the first Quilt Con collaboration. This is Quilt Floral. Love this bag. One of my favorite bags. And so lucky to get this. And I was a real unicorn for me and uh, not as fall like this could you can get away with more in spring because of the color palette but again the quilt theme I think makes it very good for fall um, that's good light right there the camera light meter sort of got it back together there finally <laughs> it's not it's not blowing out uh, beautiful and, and so I was so lucky to have someone reach out to me she knew I was looking for this and she had one to sell because I, I have never seen seen it, you know, on resale sites. So uh, I know one, you know, one one or two things will pop up, like a, a TZH or a other thing, little things, but I haven't seen the tote. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely use that. Okay, that was eight. Hopefully, you got my still getting my hands right. Um, this might seem a little unusual for some people to some people, but I definitely will be carrying this in the fall. It's performance twill, so I feel like that gives it a weightier kind of feel. Uh, and it is Rainforest Twill, re sort of recent performance twill. I do have a video on this. But I feel like the neutral kind of khaki uh, background color makes this good for fall. And uh, I do wear a lot of camo and a lot of olive green and uh, gray. And so I feel like this will work really well with that. And so I will be using this one. This is a, the Vera tote as well. Those were all Vera totes. Everything's been Vera totes. Oh, and that backpack, sorry, was the Kerala elephant's backpack was a campus, just a regular campus backpack. Ugh. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the Performance 12 Vera. I have compared it to a regular Vera. You know, it, um, of course, this is the Vera as it used to be with the trim and the piping and the edging trim on the pocket and everything before the move to recycle cotton and the changes. Um, but you can see the pocket now is different on the Performance 12 era. They've sort of revamped it a little bit and changed, sort of changed the styling of it a little bit this, where the seams are and stuff. And it's nice. gives you a nice variety um, in your bags. Because if you're like me, uh, oh, sorry about that if you're like me. <laughs> But um, if you're like me, you have a lot of Vera totes and they all kind of start to, you know, it starts to feel repetitive. So it's nice to get a bag with a little bit of a different um, styling to it. And so, okay, what was that? That was seven, I think. Uh, six. I'm going to go with the Javas. Um, again, a two for one here. So this is the new uh, release out now. Um, and I did just get this. Uh, is on here. 
stuff that I should rely on my memory. Right, Java Navy Camo. It says Java Navy Camo. God, I thought it was Java Camo Navy. Java Navy Camo. And this is just tote. This I got in my Hallmark. This is not on the website. This seems to be a style that they don't usually put on the website anymore. Occasionally they'll, they'll make it in a pattern and give it to their independent, you know, independent sellers like Hallmark or occasionally yours or paper store, you know, places like that. So um, this was at Hallmark, recycled fabric. Um, and this, uh, I do have this, but not in, in a, a handful, just one or two other patterns, but it, this is the first one that I've got that's recycled. Um, styling seems to be somewhat the same. Uh, I like that the tag is now this piece of this almost like ribbon on the side, off to the side, I like that a lot. And it still has that hidden vertical pocket, zip pocket there on one seam. No zip top closure. That's always my hesitation with this bag, but it is a nice sort of smaller size here. And I do have a comparison. It's an old video, but I do have a comparison video with these two and one other. The small Vera also showing the size difference between the three. So this is kind of a nice mid-sized tote, which is nice. Uh, it just has a magnetic snap closure up top. Um, and inside, on one side, it's got these three slip pockets. I'm going to turn it inside out just because I think the lining is so cool. Um, and then the other side just has a, a one small slip pocket and like a couple of pen slip, slip slots for pens. My fingers are stuck in that now. <laughs> uh, not a, no removable base. There is something in there. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever washed one of these. I think that I, I think yes, I have washed one of these, and I have since sold it. It was in, um, but that was in actually autumn leaves, and I think the base was removable. This is not a removable base, but I would not hesitate to wash this. It feels like the base and the a little bit softer maybe than the base and the Vera tote, but comparable. So I think it probably is something that can go through the wash. Um, the lining on this is great. The reason I decided to get this it's nice and cheap and I had a credit um, at well you know compared to the Vera it's cheaper and I had a credit at Hallmark so it was really you know it was like almost nothing um, but I'm thinking if at some point in, way down the line I mean I still am like despairing that I'm probably never gonna see any of the custom stuff I have on order that's been on order for you know months um, but if I ever do get that stuff and I finally feel like, okay, I'm going to trust Vera again with their custom division, I would do a tote. Um, I'm wanting to do a tote in the, job, the new Javas that are up there. And so that's why I wouldn't get this pattern, the, the exterior pattern, like in the regular tote that you can get now, the Vera tote. I'm not going to bother with that because I think I'm going to do something custom with it. But I do think this lining is so cool. And this, bat, this lining... The pattern is in a navy, and this background color on the exterior is navy. I always am saying, you know, a lot of stuff that looks like navy to some people looks like black to me. This is very dark, but I do think it's navy, the background. It's not black. So that gives it sort of a softness. But this interior pattern is just great. Oh, great. You know, just kind of tone down a little bit if you don't want to commit to the exterior pattern which is a little bit more noticeable a little bit more vivid brighter because of the light tones the white sort of cream colors and the tans in there the beige kind of colors in there but also for fall the original <laughs> java blue definitely fall pattern for me what am i in now I think this is six. Am I in six now? Oh my word. One, two, ten, nine, eight, <laughs> seven. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I really need to write these things down. Six. This is six. So also for number six. So six B, six A, six B, 
the original Java Blue. You really, you know, I, it took me a while to warm up to this pattern because of the color combo. I've, I've talked about that before. It kind of reminded me of my college school colors, and I was like, ugh, don't need to go back. Uh, <laughs> although I had a great college uh, experience, but um, anyway. But this, this did grow on me. I do appreciate the detail in this pattern. It is exquisite, really rich, really nice sort of South Asian kind of influence is really beautiful. Way too far away. Of course, you don't have the trim here, which is kind of a bummer. Um, interesting. Compare. See what we've got in the back here. Cool. <laughs> Hard to get up close. You lose a lot of the bags, but it's it's, it's a it's a great pattern, and I'm glad that they. Uh, I know in the custom there's the purple. Not so crazy about the purple and big pieces of fabric. It's a lot of purple. Uh, maybe just touches of it, okay, but in a whole purple bag, it, that those colors, so it's a little much for me. And they do have that sort of white version, that kind of, um, I think they're sort of touting it as like a more bridal thing. Um, and they have this right now. They don't have Java Blue right now. They had it a while ago, and then they pulled it. But I think they could, like every season or every year at least, they could do another play on this pattern with different color schemes. It would be great. It just keep, keep, it's a gift that keeps on giving. And I do think that this, I think Java Blue was, I always say this, and I'm not sure if it's still the case, but it was at one point their best-selling pattern. What are you doing there, Fonte? Oh, okay. Uh... Hi, sweetness. Hi, girly girl. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, so that was six. Okay, now we're getting to the top five. That's my love. <laughs> okay, Bunkin. I know. I know that you're, you're in the middle of my video. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, always up for some little puppy love. Uh, Hogwarts. Home to Hogwarts. Harry Potter. I know everybody is crazy about uh, Forbidden Forest just came out. Everyone is so excited, and I'm excited too. And I'm going to talk about that in a, in a video soon. Um, <laughs> but I do, and I know it's a fall pattern. They're calling it a fall pattern, but it almost feels more wintry to me because of the imagery in it um, and the colors. So, but this, this to me screams fall, back to school, collegiate, boarding school, crests, uh, you know, it just uh, everything about it says that to me. And, and I do think it's well done for that reason, although not that feminine, which was my big beef with this pattern. As I always say, can't they put out a, a feminine, a pretty uh, Harry Potter pattern? And they finally have done that. Um, so I will get to that in another video. Um, again, I'm sure after everybody else has already done their videos because um, I'm just too busy. Um, but again, good, good pattern for that. A oh, whole tapestry feel to it. Um, okay. I would prefer you to not have your chew toy on my um, bags. Okay. Get four. This is four with some doggy spittle on it now. Um, <laughs> hanging around the sloth pattern. Uh, love this. Oh my gosh. And I used this outside and I had the tag on it still. Anyway. Okay. Hanging around Vera Tote. This is recycle Vera Tote. Um, recycle cotton. But I, I uh, which I still have hesitation about because of the, change in the styling, finishing details. It affects the structure of the bag. Also probably the, the composition of the fabric is, is affecting the structure of the bag as well. It's a little frustrating. So um, makes me a little bit choosy. Or pick, I'll pick and choose. I, I'm not going to just now immediately go get Vera totes because I hesitate now because it doesn't seem 
as worth the money. I really got to love the pattern. I got to need the pattern. <laughs> need. <laughs> Big air quotes there. Um, but just, you know, great teal background color. And I've talked about the color scheme here in, in past videos, recent videos. But again, that jewel tone kind of background color. And this is pretty accurate. Um, a little bit blue on the screen as, as usual for me. But um, pretty accurate as far as value. Um, and so a good rich background color. But soft. You know, still soft. So good for fall. Really good for Cute, I feel like cute and pretty at the same time, which I've talked about. Uh, number three, again, a combo. Cat's meow. Uh, so I get bumped by, by my dogs. And spooky cats. And I, I like I said, I, I'm going to talk more about the pattern comparison um, in a separate video. Uh, but again, good for fall. I mean, you can't, you can't beat this pattern for fall the it's a beautiful bluish gray background and you know the tabby and calico cats give you that warmth with the orange tones so really good for fall i mean i use this all year round but definitely good for fall yeah this is the vera tote the large vera tote and spooky cats now this is a small vera tote that was just um, available in that online exclusive, I think it was last week, and it sold out, you know, in under a day, the tote. They only offered the tote, excuse me, the small Vera tote, and the throw, I think the throw is still available. I have the throw, we'll show the throw, along with the original throw in, in the other video. Uh, recycled cotton. Again, small Vera tote, recycled cotton, so it has those style finishing changes. But I'm, I'm liking the way this looks packed up. I mean, it's flat here, but I'm liking the way it looks packed up. Um, and so I feel like maybe I, I could get on board with the recycled with the small Vera totes more than the large Vera totes, which seem, because they're bigger, they flop more without those the piping and other you know things to help the structure whereas this is a smaller bag doesn't have as much fabric to sort of fall in on itself so I feel like it maintains its structure a little bit better which is sort of interesting um, and so a little bit less problematic for me so this might be the way to go going forward if I can pare down all my junk <laughs> I like to carry with me okay puppies did she steal a toy from you? What's going on? I don't feel any toys in there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. I feel like it's, we're like this close, just descending into madness. <laughs> um, so of course, good for ha Halloween. And again, the tabby cat, the calico cat, the pumpkin, the moon, um, the little, the scarf, the, the touches of orange, great for fall. Also, the touches of green are nice too. And I'll talk about that more in the video about the pattern. This is blowing out a bit. It, it really is. And I feel like the, I haven't, again, I haven't really watched people's videos, but I've seen photos and stills from videos. And, and even here, it is blowing out. It, it's deceptive and it's hard to photograph it. Even when I was photographing it the other day, um, had to sort of play around with my drapes a bit to try to tone down, prevent the light meters from blowing the gray out because it's a little bit mellower. It's not, you know, it's not anything like this. It's a whole different family of gray, but um, it's not as bright as this. And I was pleased about that because I have a custom tote coming in this and I was agonizing over what trim to get. Um, We'll see if I ever get this thing in hand. I, I'm really kind of doubting that I'm ever going to see it, in, you know, for real. But I'm pleased with my trim choice now, which was a dark gray rather than the black, which looks a little too harsh for me. Um, it is. It's there. See there, the, the light meter just kind of kicked in and mellowed it out a little bit. That's a little bit more accurate not it's there yeah, that's a bit more accurate it's not a real bright white light gray it's got a mellow uh, medium gray kind of color 
So uh, real pleased with this. And it's just kind of nice to see them together, especially when you have the two totes. So you can really compare the difference in the pattern, right? But I'll talk about that more, um, and including the lining in another video. But good for fall. Three. So that was three, three A and B. <laughs> Two is the fo Foxwoods. And I mean, of course, there's the Foxwood Menagerie too, which is a lining here. And I have a custom bag in Foxwood Menagerie. So, you know, I'll be pulling that out for fall. I mean, I use that all year anyway, but um, that, that's this lining. But I mean, you just can't beat this for a fall pattern, I think, between the critters in it and the color scheme. Um, you really can't beat it. You know, very warm and the leaves everywhere, and the fox, and you know, squirrels, and rabbits, and this trim. I really think this is one of the best trims ever. Definitely one of my favorite trims. No critters in it, but it is beautiful. Beautiful trim, and that's what sold me on the bag, because I was hesitating on the bag, because the pattern does have a lot of like hot spots that I don't like, it's got this big flower. Don't like that big flower at all. It's got these very hot, not crazy about them. I like the smaller details better, but when I tried it on the store and I stood in front of the mirror, this was the part of the bag that was facing forward and I, and I saw when I looked at myself. Gorgeous, gorgeous trim. So Foxwood, that's a beer tote. And oh, I, I you know I don't think I told said this style of this Java blue, which was a tic tac tote. A good vintage style. Love this bag. Have a few of them. I'll never get rid of the I'll never part with this bag because this bag I took with me to a lot of Duke's medical treatments when he was dying. Um, so that has that sentiment. Emotional. I have an emotional tie to that bag. Um, and Foxwood Navy. Glenna. This is a Glenna. And this is sort of that almost like tapestry, almost like brocade kind of feel uh, fabric. There is a fox there. The critters are kind of hard to find in this. When, when you distill this pattern down and just have it in grayscale, um, it's, the details kind of are a little bit harder to read. But it's interesting. It's an interesting effect. It's really subtle. Oh my god, so much dog shaking and rubbing up on the carpet. I just vacuumed. <laughs> Um, and for people who might be wondering, I have thrown this in the washing machine. Went through fine. So, anyway, definitely I think a good fall, fall into winter bag. But fall because, for me, because of Foxwood. And that was two, two A and B. And number one, drums please. <laughs> uh, Dragon fruit floral. If people know me, they probably saw this coming a mile away. This, I love this pattern. Um, I carry it all the time, but I do think it's beautiful for fall because of the colors. I mean, uh, let's see. It feels almost, it's, it's not the same background color as Cat's Meow, but it is that type of a color, like a gray with a strong blue cast to it. You know? And I am very partial to that color. Uh, I think it's very elegant. I think deep grays are very elegant, and the blue makes it a little less drab, um, if it, you know, and rather than just being more of a gray like, like this or something. And with the orange, you know, the orange really jumps out, and the red leaves, they all jump out really well. Contrast is really good. Um, now orange and blue. Oh, let me see. Yes, orange and blue are complementary colors, and so that's why. That, that's part of why that, that combination works well, and it's very vibrant and vivid. So I like that. Love that orange flower there, and these sprays of the orange and red flowers everywhere. Love those. It kind of has an Asian feel to me, like there's some Asian influence going on there. But I love the, the orange. This orange burst here. This orange, orange is such an underused color and it's hard to do well, but when it's done well, it's really great and always reminds me of Pablo Neruda because he has that poem. 
guy, I can't remember the name of the poem, but there's a line in there. It's a love poem, of course. Uh, it says, I love your orange laughter. Um, so I always think of that when I see a good orange. You can see all the good orange all up and through there. This is a Carson North-South tote, one of my favorite styles, which they're no longer making because I love it. <laughs> and this is literally one of my favorite bags, and I have a couple of them um, because, God forbid, it should wear out or I should damage one or something happens. Oh, hit myself with my bag. <laughs> and it was for a while there. It was in the um, oh, dog hair is flying. It was in the online outlet sale, really good price, I mean, like under 30 bucks or something. So I said, well, how can I not? I, I have to get a spare. I need a spare. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. Uh, okay, I'm at 40 minutes. <laughs> um, okay, so that was it. My top 10 fall Vera Bradley patterns that are really 12 plus the sub uh, groupings. <laughs> Uh, so I get them all in there anyway. Um, and I, uh, I hope people found that fun, a little fun. And um, I'm going to try to do uh, the spooky cast in, in a minute if I, if I can get my act together. Anyway, um, I'm not sure which I'll load up first. So I might end up loading up spooky cats first, um, in which case the, this will seem really weird. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I might not get to it, so, you know, maybe it'll all work out. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.